Gator Game Set. In this video, we're going to take my CoinOps build that I've been checking out and throw on the N64 add-on pack to play all the Nintendo 64 games, all 300 plus games. And uh, on a PC, none of these games are going to lag. I even got StarCraft 64 to work, Rogue Squadron is going to work, uh, Killer Instinct, 007, all your favorite games, Mario Party, the Mario games. So um, in this video, I'll show you how to set it up. I'll show what it looked like before and then after as far as the front end, and then we'll actually try out some games. When you download the file, it will be zipped. Just go ahead and download 7-zip and extract all the files. And then I'm just deleting the RAR files here because I extracted in there. But those are the original files. And then these are the files you're left with after you extract them. Now we're just going to copy those and drop them into next. Cores, not cores, collections. And it should be right here. Just paste it over. Something else you could do while you're in here is if you have any settings you'd like i'm gonna go ahead and replace them if you have any settings within project 64 you can open it as a standalone emulator here and this is where you would configure any kind of graphics you know what res so i want to go ahead and go see how high we can go 1600 by 1200 Oh, that's windowed. I'm sorry. Full screen. It's allowing us to do a little bit of H. No, it looks like it's just 1080 is the fastest on this. Um, you can mess with your full screen anti-aliasing. You can see I'm on a NVIDIA RTX 2060. It sees that. Let me go ahead and cancel. What was the stock? Okay, yeah. So stock, it was already on here. Okay, and just make sure you hit apply if you want to make any of those changes. And then this is the big one here, which is the controller. You just want to go ahead and click. So right here, I have my devices, how much sensitivity I want. Um, controller one, controls. It's got my Xbox 360 controller configured. As my left thumbsticks and my analog stick, my right thumbsticks are right now my C buttons. Okay, so up, down, left, right, C. D-pad is D-pad, and then I have my trigger set up, start and select. Start and back are both start. Okay, so you can edit this if you'd like. All right, so let's go in from CoinOps. We now have our new ROM installed. All right, one more. All right. Okay, so now we should have quite a bit more. Remember last time we just had 1080. And now we should have all of them, all three, oh, I went over, all 300. Ah, I'm going to use the D-pad, it keeps, my analog keeps telling it to go left. So let's just go through, go through these games really quick to show them to you. So Conker's tends to lag on some certain devices, but on a high-powered computer, you're gonna have no problem whatsoever. If you want, I made a video on how to play these games in 4K. There is another emulator out there that you can install that will run these in even higher res. But I have to say Project 64 has a very high compatibility list. We'll definitely play that game soon. Soon. So why is Zelda, oh, Legend of Zelda, so it's under L for Zelda, in case you go down to Z and you don't find it. Because we're still, it's alphabetical order. Remember you can hit the triggers to go up and down the letter. See how I just did that? But as I was saying, you can download a different emulator for this that can run them in 4K and just reinstall that. But like I was saying, Project 64 is super easy. It has very high compatibility with, really easy to change your controls, and it runs really well on the PC, I have to say. So we're almost done, Rampage. Ready to rumble boxing. Rush. Got 
South Park what game, the... Star Fox 64, Rogue Squadron, StarCraft 64. It'll be interesting if that loads. It doesn't load on everything. You got your Super Mario, your Tony Hawks, Toy Story, your Turox. Pretty much all the N64 games right here. And there you go, back to... Oh, we got all the wrestling games. Worms. And Xena, and then Yoshi Story to end it off. So let's start with... Do some wave race 64. Start your engine. Three, two, one. Wave, wave race. race. Select your watercraft. Wave, wave race. race. Select your watercraft, please. Wow, Welcome to Sunny Beach. Get ready for the first race. Three, two, one. Oh! Uh, sorry. Get on. Okay. Nice. Everybody. Alright, let's play some games that tend to lag. We got Killer Instinct as one of them. Orchid versus Orchid.
place, baby. Boom. Boom. you don't have to watch all those videos what a great game though I'm sure it sucks on the controller but hopefully the high cluster is under attack Right, you can only like hold on to so many units. The high cluster is under attack. Easy peasy peasy peasy. And of course, you can play Super Smash Brothers, all the other fun stuff. Overall, cool little pack. You get all the N64 games added to your base image. And a lot of these run really great on just a medium ochre, you know, laptop. If you got a dedicated GPU, you should run fine. You saw a couple duplicate ROMs, but not a big deal. It's because you if the ROM files are not the same names, they're not gonna overwrite, they're gonna just be there independently. But overall, really cool. Again, this is a coin op skin on the retro FE core arcade setup for your PC. Overall, thumbs up, good stuff, loving it. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.